All right, guys, I think we are long overdue for a tutorial. And what better than for me to show you how I build my fighter jets. And we're actually going to be building the F-22 Raptor for this tutorial because that plane is freaking awesome. But before we start, guys, there are a few accessories that you will need for this build. Specifically, if you're copying along, you will need the long hood, the fang, and the ship's lantern. So go ahead and collect some coin and get those accessories. And if not, I'm pretty sure you can replace them with other blocks. So let's get ready to build this. Okay, so the first segment we're going to build is the cockpit. So obviously getting the standard cockpit fighter seat, we're just going to follow these steps because I think it's easier for you guys to literally see what I'm doing rather than me telling you what to do. So if you just follow along here on these steps, it should be pretty easy. What I'm doing is keeping the size of this jet in proportion to the seat. I really like building at this scale. I think it's simplistic and you can still make some really cool looking aircrafts with this. And then just finishing the intakes here, putting some shields underneath, and that's the first part done. Pretty easy, right? Okay, moving on to the next part, we are moving on to the main fuselage. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to put some power in this thing already. So using a combination of 1x2 grid blocks and space thrusters, we are going to just put them in this orientation, put some wedges over them because we need to build out the frame. And using some wedges, we can just corner everything off. Notice guys that I'm leaving some space for some future things we're going to put in. For example, the wings and some logic. Talking about wings, it is time for the third segment of this. So we are actually going to start off with a pretty simple wedge orientation. We're going to duplicate this, put our wing down. This wing is very, very simple. We're actually going to put a ship lantern there. A control surface and another wing. And there's your wing pretty much set. Remember, we need two of these, so try and do the same thing for the other side. Okay, onto the rear fuselage and the tail. So what we're going to do is add even more engines inside this thing because we want this thing to be as fast as possible. So just following along using a combination of grids again and base thrusters, we can build up our frame. Notice how I'm starting to uh, tail off into just two engines at the back. Because we have a pretty cool plan here where we're actually going to make a thrust vectoring exhaust. Remember to shield off all the ugly underside. And with these wedges, we can start working on the first vectoring I just mentioned. I'm using the bigger hinges for this. Just real quick guys, the first vectoring is going to be purely cosmetic. It's just for looks. This is where things are going to get a little complicated. So just grab some of these hinges, put them like this. And then we're going to straight away, we're going to work on one of the vertical stabilizers. Now it's really important that you use these rounded pieces because we do not want this thing to connect other than be connected to the hinges because we actually want to uh, tilt this a little bit. Once you've done one of the vertical stabilizers, go ahead and slap it onto the build on top of those hinges there and just duplicate it onto the other side. Using a 1x3 and another hinge, we can start working on the elevators. And copy and paste to the other side as well. Okay, so using the long hoods, we're going to put them in this orientation on top. And using the fangs, we're going to put them on the back of the big hinges. And there you have it. There is the back section. Let's build this gyro logic. Actually color code them guys so you can follow along here. 
configure you want to set the strength to 10 and completely disable the keybinds grab yourself an and gate put it underneath in this place here and also paint it red so you know which and gate connects to which gyro now connect your AND gate to the gyro and set your output in the AND gate to 0 0.20. And once you've done that, add your keybinds for your. Doing the same for this next gyro, this will be our roll controls. Hook up another AND gate. And we want this one to be 0 0.15. And you can set whatever controls you want, depending on if you're playing on a keyboard or controller. We're going to use two gyros for the pitch. Another AND gate. And the input for this one is going to be 0 0.20. And now we just want a distance sensor, guys. I'm going to paint this pink and face it into the AND gate there. Go ahead and give that a save, and we'll come back to this in a second. Okay, now for the fun part. Time to assemble all our pieces together to make the F-22. And everything should just snap into place. Everything's connected like this. All we need to do now is put the wing on and then copy it onto the other side. And don't forget this logic, guys. That's why we have this space here. Now it's time to double check and unkeybind the gyros because once you uh, pull out the build again, it automatically puts on all the keybinds. The same for the hinges, just make sure you disable all of these keybinds because we don't want any inputs in them. It's also good to double check your flaps and to add a trim. Here I've done a negative input and a 45 degree angle. Now for the last part, remove these two blocks, go into your configuration with this distance sensor, and then hook them up to these hinges. And there you have it guys. Just double check everything is working properly. And if you're happy, it's time to give this thing a paint job. Well, here she is. We are finished the paint job and the construction of this thing. I hope you guys found it very easy to follow along with this tutorial. I tried to plot it out as easiest as I can for you guys to understand. And here we go. We're going to take this thing on a flight test to show you how this thing really works. So flying it initially, it flies very fast. But as you can see, we're slowly losing altitude here because uh, we are a tiny, tiny bit nose heavy. To counteract that, I have made a trim in this thing so i press up on the d-pad i activate those control surfaces and it should level us out it's like a small issue but it's because of the plane shape really the first thing you're going to notice when flying this aircraft is it's like how smooth it is to fly it's so maneuverable it's very responsive and it just looks awesome like watch this with that gyro assist, you can pull off some crazy maneuvers. Now, you may notice there are no weapons on this fighter jet. Weapons are usually the last thing on my mind when going into a build. But if you wanted to add weapons, guys, you can just slap some on the underside of the wings. Oh, here we go. We're going to go straight through the freaking aircraft carrier. Wow. <laughs> Well, I hope this has given you a better understanding on how I approach building my jets. I wouldn't say this is a pro build or a beginner build. I would say it's somewhere in the middle. And if this video gets a good response, I'll try and make more tutorials in the future. And whilst you're at it, guys, subscribe. It is free as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.